earlier. Wow. I was in Utrecht in the Netherlands, where I discovered that ale and lager use two different types of yeast. I can't yeah. believe that I'm holding yeah, yeah. the mother of all lager. Wow. To find out more, I've travelled 40 miles west to the Heineken Brewery in Zutewalde. They've even sent their own beer bus to come and get Hi. me. You're upstairs on the double decker. You've got a wave, haven't you? Hi there, I'm Jim. Hey, I'm Willem. Welcome to the brewery. As the company's global brewmaster, Willem van Wiesberg helps to oversee the production of a staggering one billion litres of beer every year. He must need an army of workers. Look at it. Unbelievable. It looks like a space station. But where is everyone? Is everyone on their lunch break? No, no, no. The whole brewery can be run with two persons. Just two people? Right. Wow, that is incredible. It's unbelievable to think that the biggest brewery in Europe is fully automated. Willem's going to show me how the wild Patagonian mother yeast made lager possible. So is this it here, the lagering tank? Right. Quite cold. Uh, it's around 10 degrees. That's the real temperature of a lager fermentation, while ill fermentations are 20, 25 degrees Celsius. Lagers called temperature fermentation originated 500 years ago when this Patagonian yeast first arrived in Europe. It was discovered the Patagonian yeast happily fermented in the cool Bavarian caves, unlike the ale yeast. Tell me, what if you brought the ale yeast down here, put it yeah. in this cold tank? Well, the ale yeast would, um, like you now, feel the cold and will react and, and be far more slower and maybe even stop fermenting. So that's what creates the difference between lager and ale. Two different yeasts fermenting at two different temperatures. Ale ferments at around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Lager, brewed using a hybrid between the Patagonian yeast and ale yeast, ferments at around 10 degrees Celsius. So here are the beers. Willem has now spent three years creating a brand new lager using only the Patagonian mother yeast. Well, there are different flavoured notes yeah. there, isn't there? Straight away. It has quite some full bodiness. See, that is incredible. So without this mother yeast, there would be no lagers on Earth. Exactly. And for many beer drinkers, that would be a disaster. I'm sure. sure.